Is that what you most commonly get from the general public about your height? Like, how tall are you? Like, from grandmothers and shit? Like, is that yeah, the, the go-to, it's, your it's height? Like, it's like, God, you're, you're, you're a big one. Or, or, the, or the one when you walk in on a plane and, and the flight attendant says, watch your head. Oh, yeah. But everywhere, yeah, probably, right? The whole ho- Because, you know what? When, you, when you've got fucking not a ounce of pigment in your body, you've been on this planet 60 plus years. God, I mean, if I don't have, if, if, you, if you looked at my forehead and it looked like fucking like flares, mm. you know? You might need it, to be told to watch your head. I, yeah. But obviously, I've got this down because I don't, like, when you know they people stand like this far apart from each other to get, to, to get in the plane. Yeah. Sure. And then there's always that, that bottleneck because there's always some flight attendant that, because she's, you know, she's the flight attendant. She's got to go up the aisle and then like swim back as soon as they put people on the plane so she can bog everything up. And then she's, she's always, she always ends up in, in, in two C. So she decides she's going to pull in at two C and that's where she's going to let the people go by. And I'll be standing there. She'll be like, go ahead. I'm like, lady, if I was walking any further than 2C, I wouldn't be getting on this bitch. You're in my spot. I'm in, in 2C. Right. I'm in first class. Yeah. Most I hope you I hope you have a, an emergency exit. No, nah, bitch. If I had an emergency exit, I wouldn't be getting on this. Do you I debate her about the bulkhead? Um, at that point, do you, do you, do you talk about the, Oh, I just, I just, like- I just had, I just, I had another experience today. What happened? So I, I was supposed to go to, uh, uh, I think it's Montgomery or the, so this guy is, you know, w- wants me to do this, this, this Comic-Con thing. And I said, you know what? I said, a small market is one day in and out. I said, so we've been talking for, for I mean, it was, it was been set up for a while and, um, I finally, you know, send the guy the email. I said, dude, like, you do know I'm flying out of Daytona Beach and the flights are, you know, the flights are, are limited. So he gets on and sees what the what the price of the flights are. He goes, do you have to fly first? I'm like, all right. <laughs> I got a guarantee. I got a guarantee with this guy that's pretty pretty hefty. And if he's if he's balking over, I said, uh, no. I said I don't have to fly first class. I said, as a matter of fact, I don't have to come to Alabama. I said, so why don't we just say fuck this? I saw a thing today that was very interesting. All right, hashtag Ask Nash. A lot of people are always posting, how do I get questions on the show? How do I get? It's easy. Just hashtag Ask Nash. We will find them. We get hundreds. I mean, obviously, we can't can't put all of them in. One guy is consistently trying to get me to ask you if you ever had to take the stink face from Rikishi and if it smelled. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know how much conversation we could have about that but he he consistently uh, submits that so uh, I, I, we at least applaud his uh, his stick to veterans with benefits podcast says is there a role you wish you would have been cast in and why would you be a better why would you have been better than billy bob in bad santa <laughs> did i say i would no he's saying you he would oh or they are the pot the veterans there, is a, a role that yeah I, I, uh, money penny I thought I would have made a good money penny. What about the, the Colonel, um, the Hopkins, the Colonel? We've nah, done that already, actually. Yeah, no, nah, I'm too tall. 